So one of the most important and yet neglected aspects of running can be core strength and stability. When you run, there's actually a lot of load and demand that can happen on the spine. So you want to develop that core strength to pull the spine into its natural and strong integrity. This is gonna help you prevent back injuries, hip injuries, and knee injuries. I've got for you three essential yoga postures to help you strengthen and stabilize your core. So we're gonna start with a plank position, but not just any plank position. In yoga, we call this a three-legged plank. What it's going to do is, of course, work your core stability, your shoulder strength, but it's also working what's called contralateral stability. So that is stability from left to right or right to left. So, we're coming down, hands go shoulder distance apart, and we come into a regular push-up, legs go back. Now, before you go any further, you wanna watch that your butt is not poking up in the air, nor are your hips sinking too far down, because that's just gonna be working your lower back. So we wanna make the core and the shoulders and the legs work here. Now, from here, contralateral, turning it into our three-legged plank, we lift one leg off. Holding here, squeezing through the glutes, the tummy, and the shoulders. Three breaths, changing sides. Holding, maybe shaking, holding, and then release. And that is your three-legged plank pose. Okay, so our second pose is side plank. Side plank is a really strong core pose, but specifically for your internal and external obliques, and it's also working shoulder stability. So we're gonna take the hand down, and as soon as you do, stack your shoulder over your elbow and your elbow over your wrist, that protects the joints. From there, extending your legs. You're gonna lift your hip, make sure that your top leg is stacked over the bottom leg, and then we raise that top arm up. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can start to lift your top leg upwards. To change sides, you're gonna come through a push-up position. And as we do, we can just check our alignment of the spine, tuck your tailbone, core is on, shift the weight over, heels drop over to the other side, stack the joints, lift your top arm up. Again, check that the hips aren't sagging, check that your shoulder is stacking. Hold again for three breaths, and coming down. And that is your side plank. So lastly, we're gonna take half moon pose. Now half moon is amazing, not just as a core exercise, but also it's gonna lengthen your hamstring and increase stability in your hip. So the posture we're gonna come into, we're gonna fold forward, let the knees bend to take the pressure off the hamstrings. Take your fingertips down to the floor, begin to lift your left leg back. Keep it nice and energized so it's lifting and extending. And then the left arm is gonna lift up towards the ceiling. Everything really active and energized. And then to really activate your core, you're gonna to try to lift the bottom fingertips off. Hold here for three breaths, and then coming back up to standing. And that's half moon. Exercise for me is not a chore. It's a celebration of my body. I am the competition. <laughs>